tell me how so going forward 2022 then what's what's popular for you guys and in terms of availability okay. how's it looking right well availability is the big thing across the board so obviously what what people do forget um customers you know could could need, need to re realize that obviously we've had no little little travel for two years so these have been there's still lots of holidays that have been put as you'll know mark put back and put back and put back so availability that takes up availability add that to the demand that's there now for, for new bookings that haven't had a booking before so you know whether it's like February half term we're in now, whether it's Easter coming up for the into summer. So availability is 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 limited. Um, I suppose the advice is book early. Um, yep. Start your inquiries early with your agents, um, with, with yourselves, and you know, get something there. Um, we are seeing agents are telling me, um, and hopefully you, you the same. You, they're seeing clients that they've either not seen for a long time or never seen before because those clients in recent years have been tailor making themselves booking it on the web because they've had maybe be had problems during covid years with with refunds and with bookings that haven't happened they're now realizing perhaps using a travel agent is is key um peace of mind a human someone to contact someone to speak yep. to ring up um and i say i'm hearing that most days where you know especially when i'm again if i'm emailing or ringing to thank an agent for a booking you know and they'll say to me well actually this is a new client um, or maybe it's a client we've not seen for five years and they normally do their own. So that is that is really good positive news. That that's a really good thing to see. In terms of destinations, the big ones for us in recent months with this demand that we've had, Maldives, by far, number one. Yeah. The, Car the Caribbean, obviously the main islands where the direct flights are, Barbados, Barbados Antigua, St. Lucia. Um, some of the restrictions that the Caribbean islands have had haven't really had much of an impact. Um, late night curfews haven't really had an impact. It's not slowed things down. So Caribbean, um, Dubai is as competitive as ever. Um, yeah. but again, lots of business to, to Dubai. Um, so there have been, been the sort of, in terms of what's travelled, have been the, the, the majority. But we've seen recently a really good increase for the States since re yeah. restrictions. Yeah, we found that. Yeah, yeah you restrictions. Yeah. Um, lots, more interest, lots more interests, lots more inquiries not just cities, but multi-centers as well. Um, so state bookings are coming in now. Um, in, as far as Asia goes, that's been later getting going. Thailand is probably the one destination where we are getting some bookings away and getting more inquiries. Um, of course, there's that sandbox rule um, that you have to be aware of if you're going, if you, when you're coming into Bangkok and or heading on to Phuket and Koh Samui. Um, so Tane, but we're now starting to see some interest for Malaysia. And then there was news earlier this week about oh, last week about Vietnam opening up. Um, so we're starting to get a little bit of interest for those areas too. Um, India, odd inquiries, say with Sri Lanka, odd inquiries. But again, it's still sort of early days on the multi-centre. And in a way, it's been a bit of a blessing really, because of course, as you'll know, Mark, a multi-centre touring itinerary takes a lot longer to prepare to put together. Um, so knowing how busy it's been, and most of that's been sort of fly and flop type holidays, if we'd have had the usual amount of um, Asia and Indian and Sri Lankan multi-centers in there, it would have it would have made it even more trickier to, to pull together. Yeah. Well those places yeah. those places are, are are opening up. And of course there are other biggie which we started during at the first, not last year, the year before, is Europe. Um, we launched Europe low-key in 2020, autumn. Last summer, it was a blessing for us. Place travel was limited, as we know. And we got quite a lot of cracking European bookings away. And, um, and now again, the bookings that we're taking now for, um, for this summer, Brilliant. So, you know, the, your Greece, yeah. your Cyprus, your Spain, your Portugal's, all your main ones there, Italy. So there's plenty coming in for Europe and that'll go. It's all on our website. We haven't produced any bro new brochures. I'll talk about brochures in a minute. So we haven't produced any new brochures, but Europe, Europe is there. We've got some of the rest of team. We've got some great European knowledge. Um, and yeah, we, we're expecting this summer. That'll be a, a boom for us again. 
Um, I didn't mention Africa before. That's another one that's opening up. We're getting yeah. a few more bookings taking off to Africa now and more interest, be it South Africa or even East Africa with, with safaris as well as your Cape Towns in, in, in South Africa too. Okay, and just and just so just coming back on one point that you made, um, just obviously you said about availability. You know, we recommend book early, and we, we're saying the same. You know, yeah. whether, whether it's even if it's a last last minute deal, you just try and book or, or inquire as early as you can do. Really, um, uh, but you also touched on the point of saying that there's actually much more value now in coming to a travel agent, you know, such as ourselves, or using a, yeah. a, and a, and us, you, you're having a relationship with you. Um, what we're finding is that the inquiries or the research as part of the the inquiry is taking a little bit longer because obviously we go away and do all of the, the work in terms of research of entry requirements into each country, um, what the requirements are you know, for flying out, flying back, et cetera. So obviously every time we do an inquiry, we're telling our clients about that. Are you finding a similar thing where it's taking slightly longer to just do, to, to, to put the inquiry together because you're doing that same research that we are? And also, um, have you noticed, you said that, um, there's a lot of single centre destinations. Um, we're finding that people are, um, or we're advising people to, to think seriously about doing like a multi-centre holiday at the moment, because where you're travelling from one country to another country to another country, at the moment, it would require extra testing at each stage where you change country. So are you finding that as well, where yeah, the, yeah. the long itineraries are slightly less popular at the moment for that reason? Yeah. I mean, in terms of t- time everything's taken, yes, everything's taking a lot longer. We love it when we have a we work with a travel agency like yourselves, where you're doing an element of research and you're looking at you know entry entry requirements and, and, and rules and regs. Some travel agents that work with us, some very good travel agents that work with us, don't do any research. Don't do don't want they want us to tell them everything. Okay, yeah. um, even though it's there on the government website for that particular island or country, and of course. If we, when we're doing that for those agents, it takes time, and that's why a lot of the I, I, and that's why um, itineraries or quotes can take a little bit longer to come back. But also, whilst we have direct contracts across the board, we also work with DMCs. So when you, when you, all the whether it's a DMC in Dubai or whether it's in Asia, where it's a hotel in the Caribbean that, that you're dealing directly with, a lot of them are short-staffed. Um, new staff, less experienced staff. They're all busy because they're all in demand. Dubai is a great example. So of course, when we're waiting for a confirmation or we're waiting for a request or anything to come back, that's taking time. So it takes us longer then to get that back. That takes us longer to get that to you and you to get to your customer. It's just that is travel across the board at the moment. Some are very easy and straightforward and quick, but sometimes, it's you, know, you want to you want to you know obviously impress the customer. We want to impress you and your customer. Um, we get frustrated that we're waiting. You get frustrated that you're waiting on us, and you're thinking it's the operator, but it's not necessarily the operator. The operator is dependent on someone else, someone else in the chain, <laughs> and that that's been so evident in the last six months since the sort of the, the boom, the bounce back kicked in really in October autumn last September October last year that's what it takes takes longer 